Welcome to our summer study. We're looking at those characters in the New Testament that absolutely insisted that they see Jesus. And so they overcame obstacles and pushed through crowds, stepped across all kind of barriers to be in His presence. The purpose of that study is to encourage us to operate in similar ways. And so this Sunday we looked at Luke chapter 13 verses 10 to 17. It was the story of a woman who had been literally bent double for 18 years. On this particular Sabbath morning, she was making her way to the synagogue, and when she arrived, Jesus was teaching, and he immediately called her forward. He announced to her very simply that she had been set free from the spirit of infirmity that had crippled her for 18 years. He laid his hand upon her, and she was made straight and went away rejoicing and praising God. As a pastor, I looked at those scriptures and I was amazed that someone would literally suffer that kind of infirmity for 18 years. Then I began to think about my own life. I looked at my journal from years gone by and recognized many of the things that I was struggling with years ago, I still struggle with. My idiosyncrasies and my own unique little personality issues and some of the things that just seem to get in my way have seemingly always gotten in my way. And I wondered why I too couldn't be healed of those things that linger so, for so very long. And so the story was a tremendous encouragement that even with a long, long infirmity that Jesus is able to heal. The, the infirmity was driven by a spirit the Greek word literally means a weakness. And so this crippling spirit that gets in our way, we can be free from that and be healed. And so begin to think about the crippling spirit that, that impacts all of our lives. And I thought that one of our problems is we continue to feel like we have to wait until Jesus is ready to address those issues in our lives. And we put ourselves in the same place as this woman who was alive in the time of the earthly Jesus who walked in the doors of her synagogue. In our situation, however, Jesus is not the earthly Jesus. He has gone to the cross, carried the burden of our sin and its ugliness. He has literally been raised from the dead, has ascended into the presence of the Father where He sits in authority over heaven and earth and has sent His Holy Spirit at Pentecost to live with us. And so, what God has done for us is done. And we don't have to wait. Jesus can deliver us from the bondages that have held us for a long, long time. The challenge is to believe in Him and to depend on Him every single day for that deliverance. May you have courage and hope in this day that the, the thing that has bound you the most, Jesus is capable of of delivering you from. Thank you today for joining us for Luke chapter 13 verses 10 to 17 and spending a little time with just the meat and potatoes.